Hello, welcome to part 2 of Golang series. Today in this session, we will see how to set up Go Compiler in our local PC. Also, we will see how to set up Visual Studio Code with all the required plugins that makes our development with Golang a lot easier. And finally, we will see how to write, compile and execute a simple hello world program in Go language. As a first step, open your web browser and enter the URL golang.org in the browser's URL bar. I would like to explain you few important options that we have right here. Under documents option, we have an official documentation of Golang. Right here, we have multiple options. Among these, I really suggest you to go through these two sections that is Effective Go and A Tour of Go. A Tour of Go gives a brief overview about the important features of Golang and Effective Go will explain you the coding guidelines of Golang. And next, we have Packages section. Under this section, we have the list of packages that are available in Golang and if you click on any of the package, you will find the list of APIs that are available in the package. Also, you will find a little bit documentation about the APIs and members in the package. And next, we have a very helpful section that is help section. Under this section, you can find a different channels that can help us if we stuck with any problem. For example, when we are doing some code, we might stuck it somewhere. So in that case, we can visit this help section and you can find any of the channels for help. Under these channels, I really like Golang forum and GoFirst Discord that will really provide you a live support if you stuck with any problem. That's it about help section. And last but not least, we have an option called play right here. So if you click on this option, a new editor will be opened. We call this editor as the Go Playground. This is like an online Go compiler where you can write the programs and click on run to execute them. For example, let me change this little bit. Now click on run to execute this program. See we got output hello viewers thanks for watching. To work with this editor you need an active internet connection. So what if you want to work offline with Go language? For that, we need to install Go Compiler in our PC. Let's go back to the home page. On home page, click on download Go button and you'll be redirected to downloads page. In downloads page, we'll be having binaries for multiple platforms. In my case, I am using Microsoft Windows. So I'm clicking on Microsoft Windows and my download is being started. Once the download is completed, click on the executable to run it. Follow on screen instructions to complete the installation of Go Compiler. By default, Go Compiler will be installed in Go folder under C directory. Click on next, click on install to start the installation. So finally, we have successfully finished the installation of Go Compiler. Click on finish. And next, we have to download and install Visual Studio Code Editor. This step is not a mandatory one. You can even write a Go program either in Notepad++ or any other editor such as Sublime or Autumn. But if you want your development to be hassle free then I recommend you to install Visual Studio Code. The main reason why I chose Visual Studio Code is because of its extensions. Yes, Visual Studio Code has plenty of extensions available. Also it has a lot of Go plugins which will be helpful while writing a program. To download Visual Studio Code, open your browser and search for code.visualstudiocode.com. Right here you'll find a button download for windows and if you click on this drop down you'll find binaries for other platforms as well. So if you're a windows user click on download for windows and my download has started. Once the download has completed click on the executable and follow on screen instructions to install visual studio code. Finally, Visual Studio Code installation is successfully done. Click on finish to launch Visual Studio Code. So now, as a third step, we have to install the Go plugins and extensions in VS Code. To download Go extension, click on view, here click on extensions and search for Go. Now click on install. Go plugin is successfully installed. Now close Visual Studio Editor and open it again. 
Along with this Go extension, we have to download some other Go plugins. To do that, press Ctrl Shift P or go to View and select Command Palette. In the search bar, search for Go Install and select Go Install or Update Tools. Right here, you will see different plugins that are available for Go language. Now, select all the plugins and click on OK. And wait for some time until the plugins get installed. So now all the tools are successfully installed. Now it's time to write our first Go program. Click on file and click on new file. Now save this file as example.go. Now let me write a simple hello world program. Now press Ctrl S to save this file. In order to execute this Go program, click on terminal and click on new terminal. Right here, navigate to the directory where we have saved the Go file. In my case, I have saved the Go file in the training folder. To compile and execute the program, enter the command go run and the file name. See, we got output hello world. Now, before I explain you this hello world program, first I want you to understand about the source code hierarchy of Colang. We'll discuss that in our next video. Later, we'll discuss this hello world program in detail. Finally, in this video, we understood how to install Golang compiler and VS Code Editor with all the required plugins. Also, we understood how to compile and execute a Go program using Go Run command. So that's it in this video. If you have any suggestions or corrections to make, please leave them in the commenting section. Hope you like this video and thanks for listening.